Hey guys, it's your boy Caesar Salad Gaming here with a video, my first video on how to use your green screen and to get that transition background. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways, make it as easy as possible and as quick as possible for you guys. So I hope you enjoy the video. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys here on my my display capture. Uh, first of all, um, right here on my my OBS. So here's my OBS right here. You can see the stuff in the background. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your video, whatever video capture device you have. I'd imagine that you already got that set up. So quick and easy, click on this. Make sure you click on it, left click, then right click it. Go over to filters, edit filters. This is with Streamlabs OBS. <clears throat> you can do the same thing with a regular OBS as well. Click on add filter. Just delete this. Add filter, filter type, chroma key. Okay. It's going to come up with this little deal back here. Uh, mine's per, it's already preset. Uh, but I'm going to mess with it right now just to show you how, how yours would probably end up looking like. Um, so we could go through it together. Uh, so it'll be something like this, right? You press close and then, you know, you, you tab out and it's it doesn't look, you know, very, very good. One of the most important things that you want to do is make sure that you have great lighting. You have to have that great lighting so that way the, the light catches the green or whatever color you have in the background. Uh, so I'm going back here to edit filters, back to chroma key. Make sure to click the color that you have. Mine is green. So that's what I have back here. As you can see, it's green. If you don't have any idea on how to do any of this stuff, you could also go down to custom, click on this little deal down here, go to the color that you have back here, and that's that color right there. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, after you get that done, you then go to your similarity. Similarity is what's going to be the, the, the background. That's what's going to cut out the... Uh, um, that background stuff so I'm gonna put it back to green because that's what it is um, it's making me look like a dumbass because uh, I don't know why it's not working oh because I don't have it on okay uh, sorry about that guys all right so you just mess with this right here just to, you, you see that little black thing on my face? You don't want that. So go back just a little bit. Uh, you can mess with it a little bit. You can see the 409 right here, and I still have that mess on my face right here. Um, you can keep on going back. If it's too, if you do too much, so 392 and 409, so I'll do like 400 to see how that works. Nope, that's not good. Three, oops. 399. It's a little bit better, but still not perfect. 397. That's pretty decent, so it looks pretty good. Got that black background close. And then once you, you get that, you know, it looks pretty good. It looks decent. It's not the best. Oops, wrong one. Uh, it's not the best, but it's it's still still pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna try to make it absolutely perfect. Again, lighting is everything. So you want that background to be completely black, I mean, as black as possible. Um, so there's that, you know, I still got that, that mess right here. You can mess with the smoothness. Uh, the smoothness is gonna help, oh, too much. Pretty good. Okay, so that looks, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty clear, looks pretty good. That's right there, you could still see you know, with my lighting, my lighting isn't the best right now, but it's still pretty, pretty decent. Um, go here to this now. There you go. And it's blended in with with this background. Now, one of my buddies, one of my friends had said, hey, Caesar, um, can you help me with putting like a background picture, you know, down behind me? Absolutely. So I showed this one right here. This is my logo that I have, right? That's, you know, flaming, you know, whatever, whatever your, your logo is, you want to make sure whatever it is that you want it underneath, especially if you want it as a background, you want it underneath your, 
uh, your video capture. So you just drag it, and then the video capture is, you know, that this is right behind it, and then you could adjust, you know, however you want the the logo to be or the picture, you know, the, you on the beach, whatever whatever the the thing is that you're trying to put back there, um, you can use. So, you know, even if it's just, you know, hey, this is me, type thing or you know whatever, uh, you, you do whatever you want. Just make sure that your whatever background that you're using is underneath your video capture. Anything that you put underneath the video capture is what, you know, is going to be on top of something. So just like this background right here, with this background, it's going to be, it's underneath the video capture. Uh, sorry, this one right here. So it's underneath the video capture. Anything that's on top is on top. Just like, you know, my, my little guys here, my, you know, sponsors and whatever else. So I, I know this video was a little weird. Uh, this is my first video ever doing this stuff. And I, I just got home from working a 24, 27 hour shift. So I'm still a little tired, but I told my buddies that I would make a video, um, for, for people to, to know how to do the chroma key stuff. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. I hope you hit that like and that subscribe button. Um, I'll be hoping to do more videos later on down the road of of more obs stuff um you know whatever whatever comes to mind and uh we'll see you guys later uh make sure to check out my link tree in the profile follow me on my socials take care y'all